Good morning, friend. This is Mr. Peter Kilonzi, a CBC teacher. Uh, I just want to show you how you can access interactive content for CBC learners uh, as they have been uploaded in Kenya Education Cloud. From any browser, uh, be it Google or Chrome, or whichever browser that you are, you are using in your laptop or in your phone, you can type KEC. Then you enter. After searching, uh, when it opens to Kenya Education Cloud, just go directly to OER open education resources click on it it will open uh, this uh, home uh, um, home screen for kenya Edu open education resources then up on this uh, left side as you can see the way i've highlighted it with my cursor click there on those dots then you can choose primary primary uh, in primary we have grade one two three grade four grade five grade six according to cbc for example suppose i choose grade four let me click on it it will open uh, to this page where we have up here we have home lesson primary education grade 4 uh, then we have edu channel tv lesson when you click there you can uh, you can access any lesson that have been uploaded for grade 4 and they have been aired by edu channel we have also a radio lesson we have SNE lesson, special need education lesson for CBC have been uploaded there. But my main interest is here on interactive digital content. Interactive digital content. So when you reach there, you click, click on it. Now it will open, it will give you option. We have agriculture, we have mathematics, we have Swahili, we have English, Science and Technology, CRE, Social Study, and so many. For example, now we choose uh, English. So I choose English. Now it will open here where we have English, Ministry of Education, English Grade 4. You'll be given option click here to start. So I click there. It is loading the so we give it time okay once you finish it it will give you on far left hand side we have the strand in grade 4 curriculum we have welcome uh, where we have the, the strands here well, whereby we have the family, the family celebration, etiquette, uh, accident, first aid, nutrition, balanced diet, internet, email, uh, technology, uh -huh, that is cyber safety. We have farm, we have HIV and aid, we have hygiene and sanitation, we have sports, my favorite game, we have clean environment we have money and each and every strand as they have been shown there uh, these strands have reading uh, for example let, let me choose HIV and AIDS and HIV and AIDS it has several lessons we have lessons for listening and speaking we have lessons for reading we have lessons for grammar, we have lessons for writing. So those are the lessons in each and every stream. So this applies in all strands as, as we have gone through them. 
Now, for example, we choose uh, I'm a teacher now. I want to teach grammar. I want to teach grammar. I click on grammar. That is number one. Let us learn about adverbs of manner, time, and place. Now, this one has taken me direct to adverbs. I remember in grade four, we learn adverb of manner, adverb of time, and adverb of place. And as you know, that adverb of manner, they tell us how an action takes place. Adverb of time, it shows when something happened or when the action takes place. Then adverb of place, it tells us the place where the action took place. Now, as you are browsing through the uh, grammar, that is adverb of manner, adverb of time, and adverb of place, uh, we have this icon here. This icon shows you to go previous. If you have been browsing and you click, uh, for example, we have next here. When you click next, look at the following adverbs. Click on each of them to learn whether it is an adverb of manner, time, or place. Okay. Now here we have the we have the the, the, the icon as I've told you. Suppose we choose to click in this icon where it is written previous. It will take us back to where we started. Let's just go click on it. Let us learn about adverbs of manner, time and place. And as you can see here, it has taken us to the previous page where it was talking about adverb of time, adverb of manner, adverb of place. Now next is an icon we show we will take, we'll take you to the next next strand next next uh, next slide look at the following adverbs click on each of them to learn whether it is an adverb of manner time or place now here uh, as a teacher when you click on it for example inside is the adverb of place it tells us where an action took place Hurriedly is an adverb of mama of manner. It tells us how an action takes place. Slowly, it is also an adverb of manner. It tells us how. Morning, it is adverb of time. It tells us when. Let's continue to the next. Look at the following adverbs. Click on each of them to learn whether it is an adverb of manner, time, or place. Now, as a teacher or uh, a teacher, if you are the one using this interactive digital content, you can just uh, show you highlight, you point, uh, you, you point your cursor there, an arrow. And you ask if the learners can remember Ali, is it an adverb of manner, is it an adverb of time, or an adverb of place? Then we have outside. For example, Ali is adverb of time. It shows us when. Outside is adverb of place. It tells us where an action could take place. Greedily is his adverb of manner. It tells us how an action takes place. Then we have adverb uh, loudly is also adverb of manner. How an action takes place. Now it is so so uh, easy to guide the learner if you are using interactive content, uh, especially when you are. You are, you are doing private studies to continue using this. Let us construct simple sentences in our devices using the adverbs we have learned. Get outside and pick some more flowers. 
I slept late last night. She ate hurriedly. From the sentences that we have uh, constructed, you constructed using the adverb of manner, adverb of time, and adverb of you know, place, uh, they uh, we have the the words which are underlined there. We have outside, adverb of place, late, adverb of time, hurriedly, adverb of manner. Uh, Lana, you should also remember that adverbs are words which talks more about the verb for example she ate hurriedly how did it? she eat hurriedly i slept late last night when did he or she sleep get outside and pick some more flour where did he go? I think now you can understand. Now, let's continue. Let us recite this poem. Now, we also have this poem where the learners, they are supposed to recite. And this uh, is a poem. For example, the animal moved in hardly in the ship before noon. Inside they ate greedily, the angry and angry of the frogs, who didn't tell the time for the storm. There they lay snoring loudly, others on rooftop watching the stars. The rain started at the dawn and the rain and rained heavily. From this poem, now you can uh, identify some of the uh, adverb of manner, adverb of time, adverb of place. For example, in the first sentence in that poem, we have hurriedly, it is the adverb of manner. We have noon, adverb of time. Inside, in the third sentence, adverb of place. Greedily, adverb of manner. We have uh, uh, words like uh, loudly, adverb of manner. We have uh, at dawn, adverb of time. Heavily, adverb of manner. From that poem, you can identify more and more uh, adverbs, be it adverb of manner, be it adverb of time, adverb of place. Today we have learned adverbs of manner, time and place. So, and that marks the summary of the lesson using the the interactive digital content from Kenya Education Cloud. I've been your facilitator, Mr. Peter Kilonzi. Uh, I would like you to enjoy my lesson and don't forget to like, to share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.